Have you ever wondered what it takes to broker peace in a seemingly endless conflict? Today, we delve into the recent deal struck between Israel and the Palestinian Islamist group Hamas, a deal that promises aid to Gaza and medicines for hostages held in Gaza. Our journey begins with the announcement of this deal by Qatar's foreign ministry. Following French and Qatari mediation, Israel and Hamas agreed to deliver medicines to those held hostage in Gaza. In return, humanitarian aid would be supplied to civilians in the war-torn region. The United Nations reports that the conflict has displaced an estimated 85% of Gaza's 2.4 million population. These people, many of whom have been forced into overcrowded shelters, struggle daily to access basic necessities like food, water, and medical care. Under this new agreement, humanitarian supplies will leave the Qatari capital, Doha, for Egypt. From there, the aid will be transported to Gaza for distribution among civilians. Simultaneously, medicines are set to reach Israeli captives, with over 132 hostages thought to still be held in Gaza. This deal, which was first heard of just a few days prior, saw its share of logistical problems. However, with Qatar's crucial involvement and France's assistance, the issues were resolved. Among the hostages, about 45 are suffering from chronic diseases or require life-saving medicines. These medicines are now on their way from Doha to Gaza. Hamas, in exchange, has agreed to a significant increase in the number of medicines allowed in for Palestinian civilians suffering in Gaza. However, the broader issue of aid in Gaza still remains a challenge. With people at risk of starvation and aid trucks standing idle just miles away, international aid agencies are calling for more entry points into Gaza and an easing of security checks. The successful negotiation of this agreement brings a glimmer of hope for more diplomacy and possibly even a ceasefire. The White House has confirmed that its Middle East envoy has been part of serious and intensive discussions about the possibility of another hostage release deal in exchange for a ceasefire. To summarize, this deal marks a significant step in the Israel-Hamas conflict. With Qatari and French mediation, a new agreement has been reached that promises to deliver much-needed medicines to hostages and humanitarian aid to civilians in Gaza. While challenges remain, especially in the broader context of aid distribution, this deal offers a ray of hope in an otherwise bleak situation. It serves as a testament to the power of diplomacy and the potential for peaceful negotiation in even the most complex conflicts.